so it's time to design our header footer and our website so now let's understand the editor which is very important and you have to understand how the editor works here there are many people they are gonna confused uh, between the editor page and post so editor is all about global settings like previously we were using customizer settings and editor is the like like the customizer settings but it comes with a lot of features if i go to editor i can see navigation so i have default navigation here so i just created the pages here and it's added here by default and if i click here i can rename them duplicate them and delete them but if i click here i can add more pages here i can completely remove them so this is very useful now click here let's go back to a style we have already talked about a style and go to pages there are pages that i have created already and if i click manage all page you can see the all pages manage all page takes me to the all pages page here go to the editor again and there is another page called 404 page and source result page we will be creating 404 page and source result page and why it looks different because it's like a template and uh, you can style them individually here go to templates and inside templates here you can see all archive basically if you just display any archive including post by single author category tag taxonomy custom post type and date this template will serve as a fallback when more specific templates category or tag cannot be found so if you haven't created any custom archive page for category tags or for any specific archive archive page then this page will be the default one for them which is working like a fallback page and if you want you can create your own archive page by clicking on this plus icon if i click on this plus icon you can see you can create a front page pages or author archives category archives date archives tag archives and single post it's very nice and beautiful design right so previously it wasn't like that but it's just wow i really like all the features here and even though a custom template can be manually applied to any post or page if i click over here you can create a sidebar you can create um, different types of sidebar so basically i have used these features for creating sidebar and a comment section or any other template that i'm gonna use inside our website frequently it's like a reusable blog or something like that but it's really helpful now it, you can click manage and here you can see all the templates here so it was like the previous version wordpress 6.2 6.2.2 basically and let's go back patterns so basically the patterns are all the part that are uh, coming with step by step and you can create patterns uh, here for header for footer and for general and other patterns that you can use here easily so i'll be creating patterns as well and we'll show you how things work here and um, also if i go to any page or let's say i'm inside home page let's click home and here you can see uh, there is a shortcut features with the latest version if i click here i can type or command or search any anything here let's say i'm click over here and type here style and here you can see i can open styles i can open styles variations i can reset styles to default so if i click open styles it will open this style tab if i select command k again from my keyboard I can type here contact 
so it will take me to the contact page and i can easily con edit the contact page from here if i again press common k i can type here sample page and it takes me to the sample page now if i create common k or press common k i can simply type here single post it will take me to the single post page which is a template and when you're landing a template you can see it looks different if i click here again you can see the template so understand the templates and the patterns both are not similar the template is a part of a website of your website and the pattern is a little a small pieces of block so do not get confused and when you select any template or when you inside any page here this position you can see it will looks different let's choose a template called page or pages so as you can see the pages is a template and it looks a uh, different color here right and here you can see if you change anything here if you change or remove anything it will apply pages globally so if i remove the title it will be globally removed and it will disable the title from here we'll talk about later a lot of in depth uh, regarding the template and everything so stay tuned with this tutorial it will be really fun and very useful for all of you